All right, this is the section that everybody understood, right? Everybody knows all those formulas and how to apply them and what those symbols mean, right? So I can go away in two minutes? Or do you want me to stick around a little longer? I'm not hearing anybody. Stick around. Stick around. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I always like to be wanted. So first question is, for the young man from Woodside, it's a simple question. It's all about perspective, okay? Perspective's like people's opinion. It's yours. So we may have a different opinion, but it's yours. Why do you think man conceived and built boats? Okay, the answer was, since I have a mic and you don't, so I didn't hear, so you can get across the water from point A to point B, and I didn't hear what goes across the water exactly. Ships, boats. Um, okay, so simple answer when you really look at it is to get something from point A to point B, right? So there were explorers like Leif Erikson, okay, and what do you think the payload was for that vessel? Young man? What were they carrying? What was Leaf carrying? Goods, yeah. The crew itself, right? Carrying people. They're the explorers. They're the ones who were going to map this out, right? They're the ones who were going to report back on what they found. And when they did find other civilization, they brought goods. So then they had a reason to trade. And that's how the whole trade started between continents, right? And then people were looking for trade routes, and they found different continents. So basically to move something from point A to point B. So time for an exercise. So we're going to use a different medium for this exercise. Okay, ships operate actually in two mediums, air and water. Submarines predominantly in water medium. So we're going to use this space here called air as our medium. Okay, I'm going to ask you to conceive, design, construct, and deliver something to either me or Chris or Elizabeth, who's ever closest. Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to do it. I want you to think of what you're going to do. I want you to erect it, but I don't want you to deliver it until the 20 seconds is up. Lee, would you keep track of 20 seconds, even if you've got to count it to yourself? I'll say go when I say go. D, Lee will start counting. I want you to get that piece of paper without getting out of your seat from where you are to one of us three. Ready, go. Don't deliver yet. There, see, I knew there'd be one. Okay, take your time. Be creative, you know. Have some fun. 15 seconds. 20 seconds, stop. Ready, deliver. <laughs> Get me that one right there, Neil. Okay. All right, folks. Why on earth would I do this? Well, one, just to have some fun and break up the monotony. Second is, what is one of the first things that you noticed was different to some about the requirement. Mr. Boutwell, Dr. Boutwell? So some of you had to go a little bit further, which is why this isn't perfect, but that's important to notice, okay? Because Dr. Boutwell realized that maybe, did you get which one he threw? <laughs> And depending on his design, he may or may not have gotten there. Okay, but distance was a factor. Some of you were at different places. But I gave you all the same material, right? I gave you all the same amount of time. Jesus, this is kind of sounding like this competition. But I didn't get the same end results. Let's see what we got. Hang on to this. Okay, so Ryan Snyder from York High School. Where are you? Okay. Did you hit me? Good. <laughs> You're still in the contest. 
So you crumbled up the piece of paper. What made you do that? You're not pretty good at... Was there a, a time thing? So you thought, okay, from a time standpoint, I could do this really quickly, kind of like maybe you do your homework assignments real quick, get it over with, and spare all that other time for Nintendo games or something, right? Possibly, <laughs> okay? Pretty effective, though, right? You got it over here, okay? From a construction standpoint, you could say that was a minimal cost design, right? It was easy to build, took very little time. Translate that into years to change units. Hey, that costs money. Time costs money. Very good. Dean, open that one up for me, please. Was that yours, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very typical. You too. <laughs> okay, John Hammonds, York High School. Where are you? John? What uh, made you produce this design? <laughs> I'm sorry? So you're kind of envious of uh, the person next to you that they were uh, much more simple and creative and, oh, that's good. Kind of a conventional. I remember making these about second grade now. That's kind of the first kind that you were taught. But it got here. It got here. Now, somebody learned something along the way. Eric Nestor of Lansdowne High School, where are you? I saw yours flying around there. Didn't quite make it to me, though, right? But was very creative. You think if that vessel you designed doesn't make it to me, you're going to win? <laughs> but you get a lot of, a lot of eye-catching eye uh, credit for creativity. How did you, how'd you throw that, by the way? Awesome. Okay, so interesting little delivery and somewhat effective. Did it take you all that 20 seconds to do? Just about, okay? Same material, same amount of time. We, the customer, me, was saying, hey, I'll take 20 minutes, that's fine, give it to me. And he delivers a different vehicle. So you could see, even with the same requirement, you get some different results. Now, because I have this mic, and because I wanted to make sure nobody hit me with anything when I did not tell them to deliver yet, I constructed one myself. Okay? Now, I want you all, in a few seconds, to face each other. We'll kind of make this the dividing line. And I want you to watch me, and I want you to watch me hit that back wall with this. But most importantly, I want you to look at how I do that, okay? We'll see if I get lucky. The point is, actually I did that at NASA at a, a student career, blew all those guys away. But the point is, did you notice I didn't throw that in a conventional manner. I threw it in a completely different manner. That's called outside the box thinking. Okay? And that's what I want you to do. Think outside the box. Okay? You could produce a conventional design here. Or you can come up with something interesting and see how you apply those analytical methods to that design to see if it's going to work or not. So my point in that whole exercise is have some fun, come up with something creative. Our biggest fear is you coming up with something out of the box that we didn't think of and it now causes some complications with the whole contest. But fine, okay? We need to have some fun too. And we like to watch Chris sweat <laughs> wherever. Chris and Elizabeth, you can sit down. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's talk about this section a little bit. 